I'm really excited today because uh, I really like decor but I don't usually do much stuff because once you have your house decorated you don't keep changing stuff around or at least I don't but when my mother's friend, not my mother's friend, my mother-in-law's friend asked me to do a headboard for her I was really excited she only had two conditions, she wanted it grey and quite chunky so I went ahead and went on Pinterest to have a look around to see what she could like. There were more classic ones, square, rounded, but I really like this channel tufted one. So we're going to attempt that. Not attempt, we're going to do it. And because she wanted it grey, I went ahead and bought some nice velvet. I think it's going to look great. The first thing I'm going to do is to glue the foams to the boards so I can upholster them with the batting. The next step is to upholster with the velvet, leaving the tops and bottoms open. And all these pieces are going to be screwed onto the main board, to which I can then upholster the open bits. Obviously someone who knows how to upholster or who earns a living with that uh, will know how to do it properly. <laughs> But I, I haven't figured out how to do it on a board, like everything at once. Because if you stick this onto a board, I wouldn't know how to keep the shape of the fabric. So I'm going to do it in two steps. First I'm going to stick this to some boards I have already cut. And then I'm going to screw them to the main board once they have the batting and the velvet on, on top up poster. The bed is 150 centimeters wide and the headboard can only be 129 because there are some lights on top and when I went to the foam shop they had these cylinders in 12 and 15 centimeters so I was lucky and I bought the 15 centimeters one and they cut it for me. They had to cut it as well and uh, glue them together again because apparently they can't cut them um, straight, I don't know. But they look pretty good. It's been a few hours and these are dry, you see? So now that it's dry, it smells terrible that blue. Now that it's dry, it's time for the batting. Mm, it's important to use this because if not, it won't feel as cozy. So this is the next step, batting before fabric. I think four meters was way too much to ask. I left myself one as an example and the rest are with where the sewing machine is because we don't fit in here. So, and this is big. So I'm going to just take into account that uh, it's not only the 15 centimeters. this is wide to upholster it, but it's a curve, so it will take more. So I'm going to be really careful so I don't lack any batting, and then after measuring it, I'll cut nine more.
when you're posted you have to start at the middle of what you, whatever you're doing and make your way to the sides and once I'm getting to my side what I'm trying to do is that I have no wrinkles I don't want any wrinkles and with the fabric the same so I'm going to try and pull as much as I can so it's nice and smooth Finish this bit, cool, that took long. And now I'm going to upholster them with a nice velvet I got. She said she wanted it grey, that was the only thing she wanted, so I chose this nice dark velvet. Really pretty. It's not very hairy, it's really elegant, really nice and what I'm going to do is the same, I'm going to upholster it but not the whole thing, I'm going to upholster the sides but not the ends, I mean all of these have to be screwed on a bigger board so this is my board so uh, if I want the plank not to be seen I'm going to uh, leave the top and bottom uh, with no upholstery loose and then I'm going to wrap it around the plank so I'm going to do that in with all of them and I'm going to leave two of them with one side open as well so I can upholster again because if not if I upholster them on their own like this uh, then I will have to upholster again the board so you don't see it or do something different so I think it will look messy so it's better to have it uh, all wrapped so you don't see any wood but that bit is going to be on another set because all of this don't fit in our car so I'm going to do it at the in-laws I couldn't get the main board in the measurement I needed anywhere, they wouldn't cut it as big, so we had to put two pieces together. It was another extra step, but it wasn't as bad. And once it was properly fixed, we turned it round and started to screw the boards. I 
I didn't have to use many screws and I was quite excited to see it come together because of course you plan something but maybe it doesn't come as you had hoped so. And once all of them were screwed in, it was time to upholster all the bits I had left open in the beginning, all the bottoms and tops. It was really time consuming, but I didn't realize how long it took because I was really focused on doing it properly and trying to stretch the material as much as I could to give it a nice finish. And once it was finished it looked really pretty but the back looked quite messy with all the bits of velvet and the staples so I added a bit of uh, normal cheap cotton canvas to make it a bit nicer. You can't see the back but it's better if you do it this way. And this is the head for this is really the result but don't just go because we're going to the ladies house to set it up and i want to show you i think an easier way to make it if you're going to make one Here we are again. The lady loved the headboard because it's not the basic headboard you always get, all plain and it's quite nice, it's quite chunky what she asked for. So I'm quite pleased with it and the way I did it. But when I was finishing it, I realized there's another way. 
because I didn't know how to staple the fabric on the board giving it the shape with the foam already in as well I decided to do an extra step and it was to add some wood in between so I stapled everything on my little boards and then I screwed them to the big board the thing is that uh, when I was finishing it I realized that there's another way and I have some of this to show you so these are not fabric uh, scissors so if you get rid of the little boards I did the thin ones you can glue the foam on the main board I'll poster it and then with the next layer of fabric you're going to place it right sides together on top of your first one staple again and then when you add your next foam or your next piece of foam you're going to wrap it around and you won't see any staples it will be really fast to make not like mine it was a bit time consuming because of that step and I think both of them have advantages I think this one the proper method I think would be really easy and fast to make not like mine because mine was really time consuming but I think mine has advantages as well because if one of the panels got stained or if you want it well imagine uh, the sun gets on it and it's faded or it's stained or, or you change your mind and maybe you wanted stripes with different colors so they are easily changeable they are you can change them quite easily because you will only have to unscrew them and unstaple the top and the bottom and that's it you will change the fabric and put it back again and it will be good as new but anyways I'm quite pleased with the result I think it looks fabulous she was quite glad I did it I'm thinking of changing mine now I would really like that one so I hope you've enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments if you've made one, if you want to change yours or anything you want to talk about, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything next week. Bye!